In today's video, we've got another location where you can get yourself up to four very easy shinies in your copy of Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. We've already covered a couple of really good locations in the Paldea region where you can go and catch multiple shinies from one spot. Today is no different. We're going to continue that on. We've got another location. This time, not as many shinies in this specific location. It's easy to get, but a really good location with some great shinies that you're going to really enjoy in your games. So if you open up your game, well, you're going to be wanting to head to the West Province Area 1, and it's going to be just beneath the Ice Shrine. So if you don't have the Ice Shrine already on, unlocked it is this location here on your maps and the nearest pokemon center is going to be the west province area one central so once you're at the pokemon center here you want to take a northwest kind of trajectory away from the pokemon center just head up this bank here if you've marked the location like i have done on the map it's pretty easy to get to and you should have no trouble at all but you want to be coming past these windmills here and then you'll see a couple more windmills in the distance you want to just fly over this ravine or walk around it if you haven't got the fly mechanic yet and then just come around here and you'll see a big cavern area as you come to the end of this kind of cliff edge but it's not in the cliff edge it's not in the cavern here that you want to come to you want to hop up onto this hop ledge here and when you get to this area specifically there will be a grasslized wild jolteon and so before you start anything you're going to have to defeat this jolteon and remove it from the field. Now, once you've removed the Jolteon, you wanna just position yourself next to this windmill here. You'll see the windmill right here, but you wanna just position yourself about this distance away from the windmill. And this is where you're gonna be setting up your picnic every time that you come here and you're gonna be despawning the, the picnic to spawn in new Pokemon, hopefully to get those shinies. And like you'll see here, we've got the Chargadet popping in in this location here. This spot right here, you're just behind the lighthouse if you're looking at it. And you've got it kind of just in your peripheral if you're looking straight ahead. So this is the location. You might have to play around with where you're standing to get the desired results. But ideally, you want the Pokemon popping up in the middle of the screen right in front of you in this area where you can see the char cadets are popping up right now. So before we get into this video itself, I'm going to just go through a few things that are going to be quite useful for you through these hunts. Now, a lot of the Pokemon that we're going to be hunting today are going to be quite small and hard to see. So you're going to want to use your camera function, which does give you a bit of a zoom and you can press all to the right again and you will get a further zoom on it. If you want an additional zoom, what you can do is hit your home menu, then come down into your system settings, down into system and then down to the zoom function here and just make sure this is toggled on this zoom function here once it's toggled on you'll be able to come back into your game and if you double tap the home button on your controller you'll zoom in even further which gives you a really good view of the small pokemon in particular char cadet that you're going to be looking for especially when they spawn in so what you can do is just set your picnic up like always it doesn't matter on the hunt and this can be applied to any other shiny hunts that you do just despawn your picnic then the first thing that you're going to want to do is just get your camera out okay you're not really getting a good view here you can go a little bit further yeah and then if you double tap that home button you're going to get a really good view and for in particular shinies like the char cadet that are really difficult to spot because of their subtleties it's going to make it a lot easier and if they're spawning in in this one place as well it does make it a lot easier so just a couple of tips before we get into today's video so the first pokemon we're going to be going after today is going to be Mankey, so you can get yourself a shiny annihilator key so once you've got your position sorted here as you can see this is the location again just to remind you where we are in the west province area one so just make sure you're here make sure you kind of get yourself lined up in the direction that we are with the lighthouse and then the first thing to do is drop a save so once you've dropped your save you're safe now to set your picnic up the reason for setting up a save is because if you do these sandwiches with your herba mystica and you don't get a shiny in the 30 minutes that you're allotted then at least you can just reset your game make the same sandwich again and try for the shiny once more without wasting any resources so that is the main reason so once you're here the first shiny that we're going to go for in this location is going to be monkey so you can get yourself a shiny annihilate one of the brand new pokemon 
to scarlet and violet so as always i will throw up a list of sandwich ingredients on the screen it'll be linked down in the description as well if you want to take a closer look at it for yourselves and we are going to be creating a sandwich with the encounter and sparkling power for fighting types and as you can see we've got that sparkling and encounter power for fighting types so we're all ready to go once that is set up you want to just take down your picnic and then you're going to be able to see if you're in the correct spot you're going to be able to see the monkeys spawning here and they're going to come in at a, a decent rate you're going to get a lot of monkeys spawning in at once and then dribs and drabs throughout the rest of the time until the maximum amount of about 15 spawn into the field so you want to be just paying attention to this area where the monkeys are and then the monkey that you're going to be looking for the shiny for this one is going to be a green color so really obvious to see compared to the normal ones which are that more white creamy color it will stand out really easily and you'll not have any trouble spotting it so what you want to do if none spawn in that are shiny you just want to set your picnic up once again despawn everything that has spawned in and then take your picnic down as soon as it's set up and then they will spawn back in so this way you're going to get a lot of pokemon spawning in at once meaning that you're going to get through a lot of pokemon giving you really good chances of getting the shiny with the sheer amount of pokemon that you've got with that sparkling part active and after a little while of doing this reset it did take a while for us to get it the monkey has finally appeared so we can head over and get this monkey and it's going to be really great because, you know, Shiny Annihilate is a really nice Pokemon to have. It's one of my favorite new Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. So this is probably the best location, I think, in the games for getting a Shiny Monkey. Super easy. And it is just like that. The next Pokemon that you can get from this location very easily is going to be Rockruff. So you can get yourself a Shiny Lycanroc and it is going to be just as easy as the monkey but this time when you set your picnic up again just remember to drop a save before you start this and then set your picnic up and make a rock type sandwich for the encounter power level three and sparkling power level three again just a reminder that the sandwich recipe list is linked in the description as well to give you examples of how you can mix and match herba mystica to get these sparkling and encounter powers that you're looking for for this method so as you can see there, we've got that encounter and sparkling powerful rock types. You want to just take your picnic down and the rock roofs will start spawning in. Doesn't matter what time of day it is either. They will spawn in day and night. And again, another really easy one to identify when the shiny pops in. It will be a bright blue color. So you're going to be able to kind of, well, not bright, but you know, a pale blue color. It's going to stand out like a sore thumb against the regular rock roofs that are going to be spawning in in this location. And again, just like you've done with the monkey example you're going to just wait for them all to spawn in till no more start spawning in in this location and then you're going to set your picnic up despawn everything on the field and then take your picnic down for more to spawn in and hopefully the shiny doesn't take too long and there we go we've got the blue boy it is here and we can go and grab ourselves a shiny rock rough so this is actually quite interesting because I went to Liverpool Regionals and I used Lycanroc in my team that day and I really wanted a shiny to take into the tournament but the night before I tried and I just could, I had no luck and I wish I'd known about this location beforehand, it would have made it really easy for me to come to and just get a shiny Lycanroc. At least I got one now though and this is just the quickest method I feel for getting a shiny rock rock. Now the next Pokemon that you can get here is going to be Ghastly. Now you can get yourself a Ghastly. Now it is argued that Gengar isn't the best of shinies it is very subtle and ghastly is quite a difficult one to spot i'll put the shiny up on the screen now for you so you can get a good look at ghastly and it's shiny form so you know what to look for but it has got a bit more of a purple hue to its body and a pale blue to its kind of cloudy aura that it's got around it so that's what you're kind of looking out for but again for this location and the sandwich powers that we want to set up are for the poison type so don't set it up for a ghost type because you'll get a mix match of uh, ghastly and drift limbs and you don't really want that if you're just going for the ghastly so if you set up a poison sparkling power and encounter power sandwich like we're doing here again just refer to the list of recipes in the description that'll help you out a bunch and then you can do the same method here but the thing that you're going to have to do is make sure that it is night time in your games so to keep this in mind the night day cycle is about 35 minutes so depending where you are in the game night day cycle 
You can close your game down and then advance your clock forward a few minutes, half an hour if you want, and that will change the night day cycle in the game when you boot back into it. You want to be preferably doing this when it's just ticking over tonight if you can do that. So if you can get your clock set to around dusk and then when it ticks over tonight, set your sandwich up then and you've got the full 30 minutes to take advantage of the night time cycle and no worries about that turning into daylight when you do this. So. When it is nighttime in your game, like I say, you want to set up a poison encounter and sparkling power sandwich for the ghastly. Once you've done that, it's going to be the same method as before. You're going to just set your picnic up and then take it down and watch the ghastly spawn in, keeping a close eye out for the shiny one. Now, like I say, it is hard to identify, especially at night as well. I think it makes it a little bit more difficult, but it's definitely a shiny I wanted in my games. I've got shiny Gengar from other generations, but shiny Gengar is just really cool. As subtle as it is, I do like it as a shiny, or at least to have anyway. So this is how you get yourself shiny ghastly. And this one did take us quite a while. We nearly run out of our sandwich power and our first time round getting the ghastly before we actually bumped into it and it took me a minute to actually identify the shiny for this one but we did manage to get it and this is probably a nice location to get the ghastly if you are hunting for it and the final example for today is going to be for a shiny char cadet in this location probably the most renowned location for char cadet and an easy one for you to do You'll need to set up a fire sandwich for the sparkling and encounter part in this location. But once you do that, again, just refer to the recipe list that I've got linked in the description. You'll be able to apply the same method as we have done with the other hunts. But this time it is probably advisable to use the additional zoom function with double tapping your home button menu once you're in the location that you need to be in for the Chocodet to just spawn in that one spot. And they will just continually keep spawning in at a good rate, giving you a good amount of time to just take a look at them. Shiny Chocodet going to be identifiable with their blue eyes. That is the only way you're going to be able to identify these Pokemon as shiny. So not the easiest to spot, but like I say, if you go in with your camera first and then you double tap with your home button if you've got that zoom function on like we mentioned earlier then you're going to be able to see the blue eyes really easily and then they're going to be about a maximum of 15 spawning in at a time so when no more starts spawning in you want to just set your picnic up and despawn everything on the field and then just rinse and repeat this process until the shiny comes in and there we go you can see we finally got the shiny char cadet and this is on my first sandwich as well so hopefully you have the same amount of luck as i have in this one and a really nice shiny to get as subtle as it is it could have been a lot better of course but it is a nice shiny to have for the collection nonetheless well, friends there is four pokemon that you can get from one location very easily in your copy of pokemon scarlet and violet and all really nice pokemon to get as shinies as well although two of them are pretty subtle to say the least Chor Cadet though is a really nice shiny and then you can evolve it into shiny Amaru's and Serilege and then obviously with the Monkey as well you're going to be able to get yourself that shiny Annihilate which again is a really nice shiny. Ghastly as well a one I haven't seen covered too much but just make sure it is that night cycle when you do go for this hunt and shiny Gengar is always a cool Pokemon to have nonetheless for any collection. I hope you found today's video useful thank you so much for tuning in as always if you have found it useful please drop a like it does massive help out the video and do subscribe to the channel for more of these shiny hunt videos as well as our other scarlet and violet content we do here on the channel have a great rest of your day and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye